Hello, welcome Hitman 2016, Patient Zero, The Vector. So, Colorado next. That's correct, 47. ICA Intel has just confirmed the exact coordinates of the US-bound signal from Nabazov's dead man's trigger. It's remote. Sounds perfect. Quite. We've borrowed an NSA satellite, and so I'm looking at the location now. It appears to be some kind of paramilitary compound, but intel is limited. However, we do have a positive ID on another of Nabazov's disciples, a medical doctor with a live sample of the Nabazov virus. Small place for a dispersal. Maybe just a test. Or an act of desperation. We cannot allow this to spread, 47. I'm uploading a full briefing to your laptop. Review as soon as you can. All right, 47. Your primary target is medical doctor and radical cultist Bradley Payne. Intel confirms that Payne has already infected a number of unsuspecting militia operatives with the Nabazov virus. Initial examination of the virus show it to be incredibly infectious and utterly lethal. Fortunately, there is no indication that the virus has spread beyond the compound. However, in order to prevent any contagion, pain must be eliminated, along with any infected mercenaries. To remove the risk of exposure to the virus, we're recommending you go long range for this one. I will be providing intel upon touchdown, identifying targets for you once you've set up your sniper nest. Good luck, 47. Oh, so I guess we're going to be sniping people instead of running in and doing our damn thing the way we like to do our damn thing. That's a little unfortunate, but Bradley Payne is an incredibly good name, so I think I think we can forgive them. So this will be this will be fun because I've never bothered with the sniping stuff. Um, so now we're just gonna be I guess we'll be sitting around and looking for people who look like they're sick and just shooting them, uh, and I guess seeing where this gets us. Cool. I guess the vector also the name probably has to do with you know the trajectory and vector stuff I, I i know how math works i used welcome to welcome to colorado 47 your primary target is dr bradley payne from what i can determine he's already infected a number of militia members with nabazov's virus to ensure containment we must eliminate everyone who has been in contact with it i'm pulling up details on whom that might be and will pass it on to you as soon as possible it will be piecemeal however I suggest you do not engage the primary target until we are certain that all the infected have been eliminated. Good hunting. Use retreat. Oh, okay. Well, th this is interesting. So we. Looking at the data now. I'll have some intel for you shortly. She sounded different the there. Is trading for some sort of high-intensity operation. Look for assault weapons and body armor. You may be at or near the shooting range. Okay, well, this is this can be strange. Uh, I don't entirely know how to work. The f okay, so we can zoom in. I, I kind of wish that the, the um, something here. We're looking for a chess enthusiast. Forty-seven. Look for a board. Careful though. You need two for a game of chess. Okay, so she keeps she keeps talking, and I don't mind that, especially because we're doing some like. That is your primary target, CDC Doctor Bradley Payne. I suggest we locate and eliminate all secondary targets first, 47. The target is on a break near the barn. He's a chess player. See what you can spot. So, okay, so she's going to be talking a lot, which I don't mind because it seems like she's giving us the instructions uh, that we need to, to you know, to, to do the thing. Um, this man looks sick as hell. This should help ID him. This might be tricky to spot, but you're looking for someone sweating a lot. Most likely a symptom of the infection. He was walking weird, but I mean, we can't really see sweating. His fingers are red. It, am I allowed to just like pop them? Like, should I do that? Did that not work? Did I miss my shot? They, they gave me a thing to like steady my aim. Um, I'm not sure. Like, I, I definitely missed my shot there. Like, I, I, I get that, but I'm not sure how to steady my aim. They said something about. Oh, well, I mean, I hit him that time. Oh. Wait, 47. One of the infected is trying to escape. Take him down. We can't let any of them get away. Hmm. Okay, so I think I think there's a bit of like like I pull the trigger and it takes the bullet a while to get there, which I know isn't like 
surprising, but I don't do a whole lot of like sniping things, so I'm not I'm not really used to, to like, oh shoot, like this doesn't work the way I think it should. So we kind of have to lead the shot a little bit, and also I'm just kind of bad at shooting, uh, period. Oh, shoot. Uh, hmm, okay. Okay, so th th there's a lot, there's a lot going on with this one. So in fact, I think, I think I'm going to put the controller down. I'm going to, I'm going to swap over to mouse and keyboard. Now, I don't know how to play this game with mouse and keyboard, uh, but it well, seems like it on. may be required in this case for me. Okay, so I'm assuming right click will give us this. Uh, how do I zoom in? Is it my mouse wheel? It is my mouse wheel. Now, she said something about like, uh, or I, I don't know if she said it or if it was a tool tip um, about like keeping your stain your stain, your aim steady. I combine those two words because I'm looking at my keyboard now, trying to figure out how to uh, navigate uh, this ding dang thing. Uh, so controller, mouse and keyboard. Yes, mouse and keyboard. Uh, no, I want like controls. Hmm. Gameplay. No, I, I like want to know like which which keys do what. Was there uh, oh key bindings? I was like I, I completely overlooked it because I want to see how to steady aim because. Yeah, aim, shoot, reload, instinct, precision aim, shift. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming now whenever I do this, if I hold shift, he'll like hold it still for like just a moment. Okay, so I'm just holding. Yeah, there was like a little like thing, a little sound cue. Oh, it actually, it looked... you're looking for a mechanic working on one of the militia's vehicles. Okay, yeah, when I hold shift, it, it isn't like it's steadying his aim. It's slowing time down. We're doing like bullet time BS. Uh, but that's fine. So this was the man I shot before uh, because he was walking weird and his fingers were red. So I figured, sick. Look for someone um, what? I hope you chose something tasty. This should be his last meal. Oh, I guess we're we're going after garage instead of uh, the chessboard uh, stuff. Okay, that's fine. So I shouldn't make snap judgments like, oh, that man's fingers are redder than the other man's, and he's walking funny. I, I don't know. There's a man at the garage. Uh, repairing a vehicle, eating lunch. There is food there. We haven't seen him eat the food. There's a few other people who could be repairing uh, the vehicle as well. Um, it looks like he's doing it. I'm just gonna take the shot. Why not? That's the first infected target eliminated. Forty-seven. I'll have information on the next one momentarily. So I'm a little interested the how this is. Is on guard duty somewhere in the farm's junkyard near the water tower. I'm a little interested at how this works, because, uh, you know, we're... Well, I was going to say, like, we're killing people, aren't they going to freak out? But, you know, they always... We I always just kill people. Hmm. This is tricky. His medical records indicate a sudden range of paranoid behaviors, nervousness, and anxiety attacks. 47, the doctor is making a run for it. Take him down, now! See, this is what I was like, oh, aren't people just going to freak out? Like, oh, why am I not shooting? Uh, maybe like, hmm. Aren't people just gonna freak out because we're like just sniping people? Like, won't they know that something's up? But and I was like, well, why won't they freak out? And then I was like, no, 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 no. They never freak out whenever we do this. Um, but I guess the idea was is that they are going to freak out and run because that's exactly what's. Why am I not taking the shot? I guess because I'm keeping time slowed down, like the things not like reloading or reloading the shot whatever you however you make however you make gun do what gun do uh, i'm gonna shoot right about there what's the delay on that uh it was a little bit early let's reload we'll zoom in where is he there he is so right about there i think that's yeah it was just a, a moment too early the doctor is about to escape. yeah i can see him escaping i'm just do it now Get right about... Oh, no, no, I ran out of bullet time. I, I th that would have been a perfect shot, though. You you all know it would have been a perfect shot. Otherwise, you, you, there we go. Oh, hey, I actually got him. Bradley Payne has been eliminated. Now focus on the poor salt he infected. Okay. Target in the overgrown junkyard near the water tower. I'm what interested... Subject presenting paranoid or psychotic behavior. Mid-stage delusion. Promising. I don't like this Doctor 47. Regardless, look for someone nervous or scared. I'm glad Diane's like, hey, this guy doing this weird virus thing is kind of fucked up. Yeah, right? Like, he's, he's operating on people who are, like, already scared. Like, weird, this right? you narrow the search down a little. You're looking for a musician, 47. He plays acoustic guitar. 
Okay, well, I mean, there's two people playing guitar, but that's fine. We'll, we'll wait for one of them to freak out. Yeah, she has a lot to say, which I'm glad because it's giving us her instructions, but also making it a little hard for me to, to you know, describe the thought process and stuff. But I think you guys get it. You know, this seems pretty straightforward. He's just kind of chilling, kind of chilling. What's the other dude doing? What are you doing? He's having a smoke, having a drink. We know one of them's paranoid. Oh, I went too far. One of them's par Oh, where did where did he go? He's paying. That mm, I, I mean, so far neither of them are particularly paranoid to me. Um, but I am also a kind of a paranoid person, so what, what they're doing could appear to be normal. No, I I'm sure it's fine. Uh, I I do get a little paranoid, but so far none of them are acting weird. We know they play the guitar, but this dude's just he's guitaring. He's drinking. This man's guitar and he's getting up, having a look around, having a pee. Nothing completely uh, odd. I mean, we could just take a shot and, then, you know, see if we were right. Maybe there's a third guitar man in the area that I'm not looking, that I'm not seeing. Maybe there's more than two. And maybe that other dude's just, like, flipping his shit. Because otherwise, it's, you know, how, how are we going to know? Like, they're not acting particularly paranoid to me. Wait one second, 47. I have an update. He's making a phone call right now. There's no more information, 47. Okay, so she... Excellent. She gave me the mercy. Yeah, she, she knew that I couldn't figure it out. She knew I couldn't figure it out and just gave me, like, hey, it's, it's this one idiot. So, someone... I was just... The target is assigned to the mess. Look for someone cooking in the field kitchen. Mm -hmm. There we go. This should help ID him. The target is on a laptop, 47. Not sure why. Let me check his squid logs. Oh. I Let's do wait hope for him. he has someone to clear his browser history. An infected target eliminated. Well done. I'll have intel on the final infected target shortly. You're looking for a target near the main house. One of the soldiers, perhaps. Hard to tell. Lots of armed people there. There's something here. The target is highly fit. He has a strict regime of cardio training. Look for someone running or jogging. Okay, so she, I, this, this is a neat mission. Like, like we've never done the sniping stuff, and this, I'm guessing that uh, right. other mission. This should be helpful. Inside has more on the symptoms. Nausea is to be expected. That was a non target <laughs> kill, 47. Be more careful, please. The doctor's journal indicates the target is suffering from not He wasn't one of your targets, 47. Inside has more on the symptoms. Nausea is to be expected. Look for someone throwing up or sick. So she said nausea, and I was like, yeah, no problem. I'll just shoot the. F oh, I'm going to shoot that. That wasn't one of your targets, 47. <laughs> Wait, 47. One of the infected is trying to escape. Take him down now. We can't let any of them get away. <laughs> so I shot damn near everyone I could and just kept getting it wrong. Because I was just like, she's like, oh, someone who's nauseous. I was like, that man's throwing up. No problem. I'll shoot him. And then she was like, cardio. And I saw a man throwing punches. So I was like, yeah, no problem. Take him out now before he escapes. And right about there. At least I got the timing down by the end. Locate the exit right behind me. Yes, that's all of them. Good. We're done here, 47. Get out of that tower and head for the airstrip. Okay, so I'm just going to say this in one coherent thought without Diane talking. I think this is a neat idea for a mission. You know, just a fun little, like, oh, here's very grim. Where's Waldo? Take your shots. Um, obviously, you know, you're supposed to, like, deduce the right ones and not just shoot damn near everybody and then, you know, just take your shot whenever they start to run. Obviously not the way you're supposed to be playing this. Uh, you're supposed to be playing, like, figuring out, like, which one's which. And, you know, I'm guessing deduce which one it is before Diane comes in with the mercy. Like, oh, it, he's doing this right now. Because, uh, you know, that phone call, like, was the only thing that let me know that one guitarist was the the, the paranoid one. Because, you know, neither of them looked particularly paranoid to me. Um, you know, with the field kitchen guy, like, oh, he's on a kit. He was on his laptop right now was, like, the first thing we got other than, like, okay, look here look here he's this one so like that one was pretty obvious the the chess one um you know we only had like uh, two possible people and i got it wrong um so let's just go ahead and just peep the challenges here and i'm gonna I'm swap back to my controller because i i know the buttons for that one um I, I say as i push the wrong button um nice 
Um, only kill the targets, no bodies found. So that one's probably like, uh, you know what? And I didn't even think about that. I was just like, we find the guy we want to shoot, we shoot him. No problem. Um, but it, I guess it makes a lot of sense to play the game as, okay, we figured out which one. Now let's wait for them to, you know, go to some secluded area to take our shot. In fact, maybe we should replay this one. Um, because I mean, like, we've only been at this for a few minutes. So, you know, kill an escaping target. Eliminate every target with a headshot. Eliminate all the tar- Okay. Oh, n never mind. I thought this was- I, I misunderstood. Uh, I saw the, the targets. I'm like, oh, are there targets on, like, because, you know, this is like a paramilitary thing. Like, are there, like, targets we could shoot and we get a, an achievement thing for it? But no, this is just, like, only use the bullets you gotta use. Okay. Uh, eliminate each target before Dion D Diana- delivers the last hint okay so that that's the kind of like mercy shot and it's very weird that you see the face in the scope I, i'm not sure like how sniper rifles work so i'm assuming that there that there's logic behind that or maybe it's just an artistic choice but it, it is kind of scary to see a face in the scope like that um complete the deck the vector by hiding all of <laughs> where's everybody okay so that's neat so we could yeah take our shots and do it in such a way that we hide the bodies. Um, I was thinking like, oh, maybe we'll just, we'll, we'll merge this one with the next thing, but I'm gonna just do this one better because um, by eliminating all the targets and accidents, ooh, see, that sounds pretty fun. I was thinking like, oh, maybe we'll play it again and do it in such a way that we like, you know, perfect stealth. Oh, you know, we waited for them to to hide, but no, we're, we're gonna play this again and we're gonna do this in such a way that we figure out the goofiest way to murder them because it says, Eliminate them all in accidents, which means that there are dumb ways to kill people uh, doing this. So yes, we'll turn around, we'll exit our mission, uh, and then we'll let whatever happens happen. I don't think a cutscene's gonna play. Um, this time I'm going to talk over Diane. Uh, in fact, I might turn down my audio just a little bit um, so I can talk over her, because at the moment, whenever she talks, it like completely like, it just makes, you know, it confuses me, because you heard, like, anytime she'd talk about, like, ah, and, like, my brain would just immediately be gone, so I'm gonna put down the controller, I hit play, play vector, I'm not sure if it's gonna do the Welcome briefing again, I don't care, um, okay, so, uh, we, I'm not sure if the infected targets change every time, um, like, if, you know, like, oh, someone by the moving truck, like, or, oh, someone over by the, the, uh, fruit king, as we saw in the cutscene, if, if there'll be different things like that, um, I'm looking at the data now. I'll have some intel for you or if they're going to be the same every single time. And I'm going to turn down the target my audio is a mechanic just a smidge. There's a carpool and garage near the red mm -hmm. Parked at the garage. Okay. So we need to kill people in such a way that they look like accidents. That's kind of what I want to focus on. Here we go, so 47. assuming that... For a mechanic, 47. But not one actively working on a yeah, so like assuming this is the same as like the last time, the he's going to be the guy. Like he's on... Well, wait, it said he's on break. Uh... Uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, break, eating his food. But no, 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 he's he's actually working. So cool, they can do a different thing. So he's on break. It might be him. We're looking for someone eating. Not a huge help, I know. Okay, uh, so, okay, so it's someone eating, on break, uh, not eating. I'm not sure if these, are those the same outfits as, yeah, those are the same outfits. Uh, so it might be him. The thing is, we need to kill him in such a way that it looks like an accident. So if we shot this, it'd blow up and kill this man. Not good. Uh, is this an oil drum? Not sure if this is an oil drum. One way to find out. It's not an oil drum. Probably not great, because now we probably scared someone. Oh, that's... It's because th th this one... You see this one? This one's red. That means it'll explode. Is he close enough for it to... No, the red one doesn't... Oh, my God. One of the infected is trying to escape. Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... Oh, actually, hold up, but I was gonna, like, restart this just because, like, I mean, I'm sure we can probably still kill him in an accident, but I'm guessing there's, like, a puzzle solution thing here, but I want to shoot the bell. So I'm gonna slow down, take our shot. It, it, it makes, makes a ring. I just, I just wanted to make that happen. Okay, let's restart mission. Just, because we want to, we want to do this in the, we want to solve the puzzle, and if they're running away, that means we're going to have to improvise. Not saying that we still can't make it look like an accident, and improvisation is an, an important skill, but I want to solve the sniper puzzle. Okay, who do you want me to shoot? You're looking for a target in the central central greenhouse area. Gotcha. Possibly in the nearby orchard or field canteen. Okay, where where to next? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I looking for, Diane? What am I looking for? Central greenhouse. I'm looking in the central greenhouse area. 
I have something, 47. The target is near the field kitchen. Mm -hmm. He's a chef. chef. Do hope he's washed his hands. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so there's two of them. Now, there, it, this... Is this not... See, it's an explosive barrel, so maybe I just didn't hit it. Maybe my shot went past it. Maybe my shot, uh, you know. Wait one second, 47. I have an uh, you just you gotta hit a certain point. Okay, so he's on the laptop. So legendary battle, lords. legendary battle lords and not doing well. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing it's him. It's, I'm guessing it's the same guy just because he's on the laptop. Unless there's another kitchen thing around here, which I do not believe there is. Unless oh yeah, he, they said cooking. Yes, I've located the target. I'm just not sure if shooting this at this distance will make him explode, so we'll wait for him to walk by. I'll take the shot. The damn thing's not exploding. There we go. It just it needs it needs a second shot. That's all. Now does that count as an accident? Is that an accident kill accident, accident kill? See, you love to see the words accident kill on screen. Okay, so maybe this won't be as much of a puzzle solution as I thought. Most likely one of the soldiers. So, okay, so it seems like there are like set locations, but the people it's can change from time to time. Repairing it, it seems. Working with someone else on the job, though. Careful. Okay, fixing an old tractor. That's there an old go. tractor. This should help ID him. Hmm, this is tricky. His medical records indicate a sudden range of paranoid. Okay, then, she's mentioning the par paranoia again, but we never really saw this manifest last time. So we know repairing a tractor. Paranoid behavior. So so far, I can't tell uh, which one's which. I mean, I guess you could maybe th like drink. Well, no, I was gonna say drinking the alcohol. Like maybe like oh, trying to like you know make yourself feel less paranoid by like you know kind of like getting a little like buzz going on. Um, not that I would know anything about that. But you know, the last time this man was drinking the alcohol, but he wasn't the paranoid one. He was, and he was just peeing, which in, in my I mean, in my experience, I never been so paranoid that it's like oh, i gotta 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 pee you know it's just because i'm a human being who has to to the bathroom um yeah but okay the point is we're going to kill both oh wait are those those might be gas tanks so far i cannot tell which one's paranoid uh so he's just walking back and forth he's drinking he walks over here he looks at the thing uh like do they just like look around more than you okay he like looked to his left but is there anyone to his left? There is a person to his left. I mean, yeah, like, he's also looking over his shoulder. Like, if I'm about to take a shot because someone's looking over their shoulder, like, I would get sniped constantly. Constantly. You know, people walk into your peripheral vision. It's like, what's happening over there? Which always makes me feel a little bit like a weirdo because it's like, you know, someone enters the room and I got to look at them because it's like someone entered the room. This should be helpful. He's mm -hmm. making a phone call right now. making a phone call right now. now. Thank you, Diane. Remember to review okay. your intel. Yep, I'll should review my intel. There, should, there is enough. To, I, I know which one is him. I still not really sure how the paranoid behavior is manifesting. I, I still don't really understand that. Um, so we could take a shot at him, and if no one noticed him getting shot, he'd fall into the rose bushes, and then his body wouldn't be discovered. But you know, that's not what we're here to do. I'm gonna shoot this ding dang thing uh, when he walks over here to look at this wheel, uh, and hopefully this man will be over here, uh, you know, taking a swig of his beer. Um, cause you know, that's, that's how you work. You come over, you poke at the wheel for, you know, 15, 30 seconds, then you go back and take a swig of beer. It's how everybody does their job, regardless if you like beer or not. It's just what you have to do. That's the way work works. And he's walking away. Where are you, where are you going? Where are you going, buddy? Um, I don't think he's going to be escaping, but he is going some, like, okay, so we could shoot the, the fire barrel. Oh, that oh, that's the doctor man. Oh, you know what? That's probably a way to also find your targets because um, Bradley Payne is going to come and, and, and check up on the, the infected targets because he's doing his um, things. Oh, so we could actually, I could pop this right now and that'd probably be an accident kill. So, you know, let's fuck it. Oh, actually, that was, pro that was probably a bad decision um, because now, like, that, that, that might scare um, the, yeah, see, like, the infected target man is now scared. He's fleeing. Um, so now we, we're going to have to improvise. Um, he's trying to escape. He's coming this way. Is there anything I could, like, accidentally murder him with? Is that a thing? Oh, that's a thing. So I just need to shoot this twice. There we go. Boom. Is that accident kill? Cool. Cool and good. See? Oh, no. Another man's making a run. Oh, geez. This is not going the way I wanted it to. Okay, that's fine. But we're going to just look ahead. 
See, is there any... Okay, so I looked out that time and found a thing to, you know, accident kill that guy with. And it doesn't seem like there's going to be anything. So we'll just go ahead and, unfortunately, take our shot, which I think I missed. Yep, so I'll just go ahead and shoot again. Oh, nope. 47's not ready to shoot. Please shoot. Nope, he's not. still not ready to shoot. Please shoot. Still not ready to shoot. Let's... I think I missed that shot, too. That's fine, because, you know, we, we kind of messed this one up. So take the shot. Nope, he's... I missed that shot. Yeah, I missed I missed the shot. Oh no, there's a thing. We could have we could have done it. We could have done it. Let's see. Maybe that the force is the force was enough. We did them all with accident kills. Cool. I'll have intel on the final infected target shortly. Okay. I was like, "Oh man, I I, I thought I biffed it. I thought it was done. I you know, I was about to give up and you you saw me. I was trying to shoot the man. Oh, where are we looking? Recruited at Spec Ops. Oh my god, I wasn't listening to what her, what she said cuz I assumed it was going to be at the house again. I assume Spec Ops means they're this these, these people. We're looking for a chess enthusiast 47. Chess enthusiast. Cool. So, assuming that the the person is always this Oh, you know what I just remembered? When we came to Colorado the first time, there was a man who hurt his leg. Um so I'm guessing that's what the idea is here. And I just, his fingers were red and he was limping. So I was like, yeah, he's probably sick. But no, that was bad judgment on my part. Uh, I, I, I'm very sorry, man, who I beat up in the future and take clothes. Okay. So we were told that he was sweating very badly. Um, I'm not really sure if there's a good way to tell how bad this man... Oh, see, I was about to say, because he's wearing so much stuff. But he just wiped his goggles to get the sweat off. So we know it's him, but we need to murder just him, because we don't murder people we're not supposed to kill. We've always only killed the people that we're supposed to kill. We never, you know, get paranoid and do a murder just because you think it, you got it. Got it. We, we would never do that. Okay, so how are we going to accidentally murder this man? Uh, what is a good thing we can shoot? We should probably... Is that a... If that's a gas generator, we might be able to shoot that and make that happen. But I'm just going to watch his routine for a little bit. There is this. So I was going to say, if he walks over there to talk to the doctor. But the doctor <laughs> is out of... What are you doing? Are you going to take a bathroom? Or are you just going to just chill? Yeah, he's, he's just taking a little break. And you know what I didn't think about? But we can slightly change... We could, like, you know, walk around a little bit to get a slightly different uh, viewpoint. I'm not sure how important that is because it seems we're in a pretty uh, contained place. It seems like he's just going to chill there. So I'm hoping Wait that if... One second, 47. I, have yeah, I, I already know who he is. Lace. He's tying a shoelace, which else? we cannot see, but we can see the other chess guy. So we know, you know, obviously the man... Well, not obviously, but but we can deduce that, assuming that these two are the only chess... We, we, we already knew it was something. I'm you know, explaining the stupid logic. You, you guys are smarter than me. You get it. Okay, so... Um... If this man is just going to walk back and forth from here to chess table and never going to walk over here, I'm going to assume that that generator will explode when we shoot it. Um, you know, because we're, we're, we're trying to do some accidents. Uh, maybe we can shoot like a light or something and it falls on. Oh, oh, no, I'm so glad. I, I was like, maybe we shoot the light and it falls on him. <laughs> but no, my God, can we... Can we fucking wily coyote this man? Can we do like an acme on this man? Are we about to drop up? Okay, so I'm not, I'm not super, you know, up and up on the weight of of a bale of hay. Um, I would assume it's not enough to kill a person, but you know it's high up and it's tight. I'm guessing tightly bundled. So when he walks out here, we're gonna shoot this freaking line here. And if that bale of hay drops, I will go ahead. I mean, I've already said that. I, I enjoyed this. I think this is a neat little level. Um, makes me wonder about the sniping in the other levels. Um, because there were sniper uh, things. And I just assumed that they were... The level proceeds as normally. But you, as 47, can run around with your sniper rifle and find places to, to do your dark deeds with a sniper rifle. Okay, so he's standing still. Let's uh, slow our aim. Let's do that. Let's look down. I love this game. This game is so good. I like it. It's great. Let's head for the airstrip. Let's hit G to exit mission. Okay, I'm gonna grab my controller. Not that it matters because we're we're done. This could be this can be uh, kind of a short one. I how long have you been playing? My recording's been on for 30 minutes. So I mean, it's still it's it's short. And the idea, I killed a person I wasn't supposed to kill. Oh, I when I shot the um 
the fire extinguisher. I probably got the other guitar man, but that's fine. We got four Hitman logo things. That's the this is the best we've ever done in the level. I mean, to be fair, it's also the only level we've ever played twice. But that was fun. That was cool. I enjoyed I enjoyed that sniper thing. That does make me wonder about the sniping in the other levels, because um, I've heard it is pretty cool. Um, the sniping and you know the Hitman game. Um, especially since, like, I think a pre-order bonus for Hitman 2 was, like, you can play a sniper mission thing. Um, but I also assume that, um, you know, you go around the level and you find, like, good places as opposed to having, like, uh, just a, uh, what, what do you call it? A, a, I think she said, like, a rat's nest, but there's a word for that. A pigeon's... The, there's, there's a word for it on, on the boats, like whenever the, the, the thing on top of the mast that people sit in and look out on, but I can't, I can't think of it. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to Google it because now I feel bad that I don't know it. And you, we've made it to the end of the video. You can stop watching it if you don't want to. Um, One Piece brings Luffy back. Oh, sorry. My phone's giving me. I mean, Luffy's you know, been in One Piece for a while. Uh, what am I Googling? Not not Hitman. I'm not, I'm not trying to learn things about Hitman. I'm trying to learn... Uh, thing at top oop I'm, I'm typing badly on my phone because my keyboard changed at some point and, and i keep hitting period instead of space top of mast look out god what is it called because it, it's it's something's net crow's nest rat's nest Ugh. okay that's that's the end of the thing the sniping sniping was cool we're not going to be doing any other sniper things even though i'm sure they're pretty great um next time the end of Patient Zero. Thanks for coming to this shit show. Not the shit show being me playing. The game's very good. I very much so enjoy it, man.